Hi guys, in this tutorial I will explain you some techniques that I use to draw this simple floor plan in a reasonable time. In this first part of the tutorial, I am going to prepare first my workspace for drawing with efficiency and precision. But have in mind that this is just my way to organize the things. For example, some people don't use the grid and the snap mode, those are just optional tools. After I will draw my exterior wall and then my interior walls. The first thing I will do is to make sure I use the correct units. I can type units with my keyboard to open the drawing units panel. Here where says length I have to choose the type of measurements that I need and the precision that I want. In my case I will use decimal and precision zero. For the units I will use millimeters. Now I click OK. So the next thing is to set up my layers. If you pay attention to the drawing you will notice that I have different colors here and that's because I separate in layers the doors, the windows and the walls. To create a new layer I can type layer with my keyboard or clicking this button here. This is the layer properties manager. To add a new layer just click somewhere in this box with the right button. And now I will click on new layer. So for my first layer I will name it as walls and I will do the same for all the other layers. The second one I will name it as doors. This one windows. And the last one will be the dimensions or the dimension lines. Now I will change the colors for all my layers. Have in mind that we can change these colors anytime that we want. I also like to use light colors because they are easier to see. Now in the bar at the bottom there are a few things to set up before start drawing. The second button here will switch on or switch off the snap mode. If I have the snap mode deactivated, we will not have any precision when drawing lines, as you can see here. On the other hand, if I switch it on, you will notice that I can only move my mouse in some points, in this case in a distance of 5 mm. To set up this, I can click here with my right button and then on settings. In this box I can change my snap spacing. As I told you before, I have it as 5 mm. Now if I am using the grid, I can also change the spacing here. If you look in this diagram on the right, you will see that I have in my grid a major line in every 5 secondary lines. You can change that in this box here. Another thing, if you want to switch on or switch off the grid, just click in this button. One last thing that we should activate before start drawing is the object snap. This is very important to draw with precision. So I will type O snap. As you can see here, this acts like a magnet and after you will understand why. Now here in this panel, I can choose the points I want to use the magnet. In this case, I will select only the end point, midpoint and extension. Finally, I click OK. Now I will show you how it works. I'm going to draw a line. Now I click ESC and I click ENTER to start again the same command. So here you can see that the end point appears on my screen. If I click there, the first point of my new line will start precisely from my end point. But I will not click and I'm going more or less to the middle 
and you can see where the middle point is. So, if I click when the triangle is on the screen, my next line will start exactly from the middle point. Now I am ready to start my drawing. So, the first thing I'm going to draw is the first line of the exterior wall. I will use the command polyline. This is very simple. I just have to insert the length of my lines till all my boundary is completed. Also be sure that the polar mode is turned on. We need it to draw precise horizontal and vertical lines. So, once it's finished, I will draw the second internal line of my wall using offset. So, I will type offset or simply O. Now, it says to specify offset distance. I will type 300 because it's the thickness of my wall. Now, I have to select my object and I will click on the middle. And as you see, my exterior wall is finished. My next step is to draw the interior walls. There are several ways to do it, but I think a very fast way is to draw room by room. I'm going to draw the first room using line. Now I put my mouse pointer over the corner without clicking. I start moving down slowly and I enter the distance from the green cross that I want to start drawing my line. To do this I need to activate the extension on the object snap and I also need the nearest deactivated. So now I will enter the length of my room and now I draw vertically till the exterior wall. So the first room is done. Now I have to do the same to all the others. For example, here from the end point I move to the right, I type the distance and click enter. So for the last room, I am going to use the grid to help me. I know that those wall thicknesses are 15 centimeters and that corresponds to three squares with this zoom. For cases like this, I find the grid very useful because I use it as my reference. Now I have finished all my walls. So, this is all for the first part of this tutorial. In the part 2, I will show you how to draw and insert windows and doors without spending too much time. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon!